Hey there. Um, we've been asked by one of our users to uh, to be able to embed a uh, lightning component within a flow, and the lightning component will contain a form typing page. And uh, they've asked how to send a variable from the flow, any variable or any number of variables from the flow to the component, to the lightning component. So this is how you do it. So first off, this is our um, form titan page. Very, very simple page. Let's look at it. Um, what it does, um, right now there is, no, uh, there is no variables in here. That's why I didn't pull up anything. It will give us the current username of the Salesforce, Salesforce current username. It will give us the last name and company name of the lead, and it will enable us to uh, upload some file to it. Um, so this is our two variables that we, uh, let's look at our get. So we have a uh, get user and we rely on the user ID hidden field, which we will pass into the component. And we have a lead, which relies on the lead ID, which we will pass into the component as well from the flow. Okay. So let's see how we do it. Um, so let's open up the developer console. I've already created the, the lightning component. So let's, let's open it up. Let's look at the component. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have here a bunch of, we implement a bunch of different interfaces because we use this component for, um, um, for uh, to, to embed in, in lightning pages um, with, uh, uh, we can embed it in, in quick actions and we can grab the record ID if this component was, was open from a uh, record, uh, record page. Okay, and this is what, what, what's important for us for the flow right now. We need to uh, implement this interface, uh, Lightning available for flow screens, and we need to give it a global access. The next thing we need to do um, so we have a few uh, attributes here. One of them is the iframe URL, which we set in the controller, which I'll show you in just a second. The, the other thing is we need to uh, give some attribute that we want or number of attributes, depending how many, um, how many variables you will map from the flow. So here we have this uh, record ID from flow and we give it a global access and in order for this to be visible, this, this uh, attribute to be, to be visible in the flow, we need to do this. We have here a design um, part of the component, and we just need to replicate the name exactly as it is over here, and that will basically make it visible in our flow. So this is the two things. Now let's just take a look, quick look at the controller. Controller is very simple. We grab the record ID from the record ID that we get from um, force has record ID. And if it's empty, then we're going to grab it from the record ID from flow. Okay, and this is our user ID. It's a global variable, which we can grab from uh, what's, uh, what the Lightning uh, Framework gives us, which is this. And then we're going to set the iframe URL um, the attribute for I, for the iframe URL, which we're passing into the iframe um, HTML attribute, um, it's Lightning attribute. Okay, so let's take a quick look. So we're setting the iframe URL. We're giving it the URL of the of our of our form, which is this guy over here. Okay, and now we're gonna pass in the variables. Um, our lead ID variable is FLD6, which can be shown over here. Let's look at the lead ID. Um, our field, our form titan field ID is FLD6, and our user uh, ID, form, form titan form ID, is FLD5. And this is what we're passing. We're passing the record ID to FLD6. We're passing the user ID to FLD5. Now let's see how this works. Okay, so after we have the component set up, Let's look at our flow. Okay. Uh, let's see what we did here in the flow. So this flow is very, very simple. It just, uh, it has a screen 
for a new lead and let's see what it does um, just two fields last name and company name and over here we have a record create which we map, map the fields and then when we're done we map the lead ID that was created we map it into a variable in our flow and for the form titan part for the component part that we just created then we just add a field we choose a lightning component after we uh, choose the lightning component um, it will let you choose from a list of components this is our component demo of the uh, CMP embed flow and it will ask us the input so we have the record id from flow this is what we uh this is what we set up over here which basically uh which basically uh lets us uh, expose this into the flow okay so we pass the lead id we save this now let's see how this works let's hit run okay last name test and, and test company let's hit next okay so we get an error here what does it say we need to set up to enable um, lightning runtime okay so let's go to uh, let's go to setup and we'll go to process automation process automation settings let's enable this guy over here enable runtime for flows we hit save and let's see how this does refresh this page okay so let's do um, Next name and this will be form titan. Let's hit next. Okay, um, we created the lead and now uh, it redirected us to our component. As we can see, the, the current username is Bray Fox, which is the this is the user that I'm logged in with, and we have the sum last name and we have the form titan company. And now let's just upload some file. Let's choose this guy over here. We'll hit submit and we're done. We can finish this over here. We're done with this. Let's see how we did. Let's go to our lead page. Lead, uh, let's go to our lead that we just created. Um, leads and we have some last name with form titan and we have a file that we just attached using form titan which we have embedded in the, in the flow. Good luck, guys.